Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with me, and we're gonna make another last minute, and this can be a gift, or you could just make them as tags, lots of different things that you could use this for, but I'm gonna use it as some gifts for, uh, gift tags for my daughters on their presents. I thought it would be cute, quick, and easy. Okay, I am using, let me wipe this, this off. I'm using, this is a laminating pouch, if you don't have a laminator, you can go to like Walmart or somewhere and get those um, sheets. I think they're, what are they called? I don't know, they're self-adhesive. They stick together. You can put paper in there and then stick them together. You can go get those if you don't have a laminator. You can do the same thing with those. So I'm using just a round circle. You can just get some type of round circle. And this is, and I'm just going to tell you what the size is. Now I can't even find my ruler. Got so many things going on here. Okay, this is four inches around. So that's what I'm using. You could use one of the larger, a little smaller, just depends. And then I'm going to use my white Sharpie. And this is just to draw my circle on here. And that way, if I don't get it cut out exactly right, uh, I won't see anything but white. So that'll be okay with me. So just draw you some circles. I'm gonna go ahead and do, um, I think I'll go ahead and do about six. I think I can get six on this one. This is a larger laminating pouch. I think it's uh, about 18 inches, I believe, about 12 by 18. I have a 12 inch laminator, but of course you can do it with any of them that you have. You don't have to have the big one. Um, I got that one a while ago, and I got it on sale on Amazon, and I will link that below. It's very, very inexpensive, and it works great. Okay, let's see if we can do this here. Got my six circles. There we go. So I have my six circles drawn. And now what we're going to do, and I will try to link you to where I found this little template. She has a little template on her uh, site, on her blog that you can print off. That's got this, it's like a little, it's a snow globe is what we're going to be doing. But she has a little template that's printed off, that you can print off and use. So I'll try to remember to link that below. Now all I did here is I cut some cardstock. Or I tore it, really. I tore cardstock. I did not cut it. And I'm going to use just a little piece of tape on the back of this to put this down so that it kind of stays in place while I get it to my laminator. And you just want to run it right at the bottom of this. What we're looking for is something to look like snow. Now, what she did was she painted on hers, but I can't, for some reason I can't find my white paint. Don't know what I've done with it. But anyway, we're just gonna use this. And I've got different photos. She had some photos where it looked like they were standing in the snow. I don't have those exactly, so we're just gonna use what we have. And I just printed my photos out and then trimmed around them. So I'm just making sure that fits in there. And then we'll put some more of these down. Just make sure that your paper that you put down goes outside the line because you're gonna be trimming these out once you get it finished. So I'm just gonna go ahead and put down all of my paper on here. And then we'll go from there. Okay, we've got all of our paper down. Now the reason you Put that circle on there first is so it gives you an idea of where you're going to trim and uh, where you're going to be laying everything that kind of thing so let's see what we're going to do next now i want to put some little dots in here that looks like snow so i'm going to go ahead and dot these in here just around i'm using my sharpie again just going to dot these all around I'm telling you guys, if you have not got a Sharpie, a white Sharpie, don't know what you're missing. I use this thing for everything. So we're just dotting some little snowflakes on here and you can do it with paint, 
just whatever you have. All right, they're dry. Didn't take but a minute. Then you just put down your photos. I'm gonna try to put them where I can trim off the bottom part of some of these. So we'll try to lay them down closer to the bottom than the top. These are my grandbabies. And the only one I had of him that was recent was his graduation picture. So I'm just gonna add that in there. That'll work. And then, let's see, this is of all four of them, so we'll put that in there. All right, here again, I'm just gonna use a little bit of tape, and this is just some of that um, vellum tape that we have. I'm gonna use a little bit of that tape to hold them in place. If you're just doing like one at a time or something, you won't have to do this. But since I've got a bunch going here, I just thought this was cute and it's something that's quick and you can use it as tags on your presents. Lots of different uses, uses for it. Okay, so we've got that. I'm going to fold this back up and take it over to my laminator. And I'm going to laminate these and then we'll be back and we'll put this together. Okay, they're all laminated and hopefully... I'm not blinding you. And we're just gonna trim these out. I'm gonna flip it over so that I can see my, where I drew my circle there. Okay, so there is our little um, circle. And now what you want to do is just these little pieces, you wanna put one on the front and one on the back, just to make it look like that snow globe. So you would stick one right there, and then sit your other one right there, and then glue those down. So there you go, you've got your little snow globe, and now we just need to put a little hole up here in the top so that we can hang it on the tree. We'll put a little piece of baker's twine through that. Okay, so you got your little ornament made there, and then down here you can just put the names. So let's put, and then right at the bottom, I'm gonna, let's put it up here. I'm gonna put two, zero, one, eight, 2018. So that is your little ornament that's your little you can put this on presents use it for the presents if you want to for grandmas grandpas aunts uncles that kind of thing or you can just hang these on your tree i think they are super super cute all right guys that is the tutorial for today i'm going to cut the rest of these out i hope you enjoyed this if you did please give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button and when that little bell pops up click that bell so that you'll be notified when we put up new videos also up here in the top you'll notice there's two videos up there that you might like to watch on the bottom left over here you'll notice that um that is our store link you can go there and you can get, right now we're running a 40% off clearance sale. We're trying to clearance all of our inventory out. And then over here on the right hand side is my face. You can uh, click that and subscribe to our channel. Uh, I also wanted to let you know that Cricut is having a 12 days of Christmas sale. It, each day they're going to feature a different product. And they're having fantastic sales. Most of theirs is 40 to 50% off. I will leave my affiliate link below and I would appreciate it if you click through there if you shop. Anytime you click on any of our affiliate links, it just helps us out and helps support our channel. Helps us keep doing videos like this for you guys. We appreciate it so much. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.